So I know that my first videos have been focused on Indiana Dunes, and I'm planning on going back there for a couple more trails at least. But another thing that I want to do is to try and figure out what it's like on some of the smaller trails, like um, uh, Chickaming Open Lands and some of the actual municipal trails in the area. So I'm from extreme southwest Michigan, so... I kind of just want to be able to explore those areas. Uh, I grew up here, but I never actually got out on a lot of those trails. So most of these places I've never even been to, even the ones in my hometown. So I really want to finally be able to go to those and show people what those trails are actually like. Um, granted, it's going to be in winter, so it's not going to be when there's a lot of foliage out. But I still want to make... Um, some videos about those places. So the next few uploads are probably going to be just a couple trails per video broken up by uh, the closest town and stuff like that. So the first one's going to be about Three Oaks and the two trails that are really nearby there. And then I'm probably going to head up towards Chickaming and Harbor and Lakeside area and then head over to New Buffalo and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm excited for how these are going to turn out. I really hope that you like them, and I really hope I like them too. All right, this is the Hoadley Nature Trail in Watkins Park in Three Oaks. Over by the ball fields here on the southwest side of town. Not super long of a trail. We've got this little map here. So I'll head out there and see what it's like. Although this trail isn't very long, I do like how they have these little signs along here saying what's growing in the area. There's a bunch of them across the whole trail. I don't know if I'll see all of them today. A lot of little paths here. I'm kind of just doing a big loop. But I do like how they point those out. It'd be a bit easier to see each species come springtime. Hopefully they can clear off these trails a little better too because this is right across the path here. Be mindful of the little streams we've got here. Apparently this isn't supposed to be this high in the water but I don't want a chance getting my boots all wet. So be careful of that. I've never got to do this trail. I discovered it or heard about it a year or two ago and I never actually came out here. It's a nice spot, but I think there's just too many areas that overlap, cross over each other. It's not a very big area. The, the baseball fields are just over that way. And there's just, there's like 20 or 30 different posts out here in this small section of woods. And it just keeps overlapping over each other. It just feels really unnecessary for how small of an area it is. I like it. I'm glad it is in town or people can actually access it a lot easier, but it's just such an odd... Little, yeah, 39. That's the number on that post there. Such an odd amount of markings for such a small trail. I mean, you'd be doubling back on yourself. Probably... 10 or more times just trying to go down every part of the trail. So, I don't know. Cool spot. Glad I checked it out. Maybe it's better in springtime or summer. Hopefully the trails are drier. I've had to go over a few patches of ice where I couldn't tell exactly how deep the water would be. But, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it's nicer. Any other times of year? What's this? 
muscle wood. Huh. Anyway. Well, looks like I'm heading back towards a clearing again, so that ought to be about it for this one. All right, so now I'm at Kessling Nature Preserve along Forest Lawn Road, South Three Oaks. There's a little viewing area of the river over there. Um, don't see any actual like trail maps here, but we're just gonna figure it out. It says there's a couple not too long loops here, it was like a half mile loop and a mile loop. So we'll just go walking for a bit and see what it's actually like. I've got service out here, so it's not like I'm gonna get lost or anything. This trail seems to be the equal and opposite version of the Hoadley Nature Trail in town. Because the map on that one was a little too much for how small the trail was. Meanwhile, this one actually seems like it might have a bit more length to it. And it's actually deeper in the woods. There isn't any map anywhere. So, there's no trail markers too, so I'm kind of just following the tracks along here. It's nice, I like it. It's quieter. Don't hear the cars in town nearly as much, but it's just odd that there wouldn't be any sort of real markers out here. Oh well. That was about it for both of those. Uh, I really liked them. I preferred the Castling Trail. Uh, that one was obviously a lot more in the woods and it had the nice ravine there and everything. But uh, just strange that it didn't have a trail map posted for it um, and no signs marking it, but still a cool area. Watkins Park is interesting. I hope that I'll be able to go there in the spring um, once the snow has melted away. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for for today then. So thanks for watching.